Alana. Love is like, it's like, it's, like, it's, it's just, like the word is like, no, it's just cool. Yes! And you are like, <laughs> you like find it every time. It's like, I don't know how you do it. And we are just on this like, wild journey that we call life. I am feeling that the we. You had most of season four written or at least planned out and then the election happened and Trump was elected and you went back and you changed some things and, and, and it, there was a lot of political overtones of the, right. the whole season. I'm just curious, um, you were not, both of you were not happy that Trump was elected and I'm wondering if this season four allowed you to sort of, as you were going through the episodes, helped you process your grief and your anger and all of that. Yeah, Broad City has been this like alternate reality that we've been living for all these years. And it did feel like, um, especially New York too, to make New York the New York that we wanted it to be in the wake, you know, to express New York's grief. Um, for example, we bleeped Trump's name and that felt really good. <laughs> I wish that was a real device in real life. <laughs> and it came naturally. We had we had a hiatus. We finished writing and then we had this hiatus for three months just because we were planning on shooting in the winter months. And so we were on this break and that's when the election happened. And so we were going to come back and sort of rewrite anyway. But then we came back and the election had happened and, and we just kind of couldn't stop talking about it and how we felt about it. And so like everything else that we're talking about, we couldn't help but kind of infuse it into the show. And it was kind of like we had, um, you know, the first couple seasons, people received our show being more, as more politicized than we intended it to be. We were just, whatever, doing our thing. But then I think this was this turn of consciousness for us with our platform and, um, and it is. It's like when you can't stop talking about it, then it, you become aware of how much you're talking about it, you know, so it just, um, yeah, naturally came together. You both directed two episodes each this season. These were the first episodes you ever directed mm -hmm. on the show. Um, why did it take this? Thank you. Thanks. Why did you cool. wait till season four to, to do it? And then you did two each. I think, um, I, 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 yeah, I think maybe we waited longer than we had to, but we are micromanaging of every part of the show. And this, that was sort of like the last hat for us to put on. I think we could have done season three, but I think season four, we were so ready. You know, we, from, the, the show has been 10 or 11 months of our year for so many years. And it's help, it's been helpful to um, get an outside perspective this whole time. But uh, last year directing, it was like, it also cut some work out because it was like less, one less person to communicate our ideas too, because it was just us. So it both um, is more work and less. Why is season five the last season? Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> you know, we, we talked about it so much and really have always felt, you know, we've been doing Broad City and playing these versions of ourselves for 10 years. We, we did the, the web series before the TV show. And, and it, it started in 2009. Yeah, and it, and it, feel, it just felt, feels very right. To, this is about being in your 20s. But yeah, it just fe it feels like this thing that, sh that can't go on forever. This is like, just like your 20s. This is a, right. a specific moment in your life and in this friendship. And um, creatively, we just felt like this was like the perfect time.